Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, after she died, he fell completely apart. But now that he has found a new love, he thinks that he might just be alright. However, old ghosts die hard. Tonight's movie, The Night Evelyn Came Out From The Grave. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! Worst apocalypse ever! Yes, 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 episode number 24! Episode number 24! I want some more gore! I want some more! Some more, some more, some more! Anyway. <laughs> Coming up on last night's excellent 80s slasher, Final Exam. One of those movies where the sum is probably greater than the total of its parts. I thought, you know what, it's time to go back to that giallo, because it's going to be giallo slashy for a little bit. And tonight's movie is going to be... Uh, well, first, uh, a little preface, you know, when we saw the first uh, movie of this 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, the Red Queen kills seven times. It was interesting because uh, this one character's name was Evelyn and they said they, they killed her and then they think that she came back, like Evelyn came out of the grave. And I thought, you know what? I think we should watch. The night Evelyn came out of the grave and that's tonight's movie. So what is the night? Evelyn came out of the grave about what well, it is about a, a wealthy a widower who uh, takes young ladies, ladies of the night, to his castle where he plays sadistic, sadistic, sadistic S and M torture things upon them and apparently kills them. Oh, what a bad guy! However, he is also suffering from mental stress and delusions, all stemming from the death of his wife that he blames himself for. And so he's getting psychiatric help. And one of the things that the doctor recommends is for him to marry a woman? <laughs> I mean, that really? I mean, he's taking women to his castle and murking them. And you want him to marry someone. I mean, I, yeah, anyways, anyways. So, of course, he, he goes to a party uh, from uh, one of his uh, relatives through the marriage, uh, I believe. Uh, and uh, he meets this beautiful, beautiful, stunning blonde woman. And he decides, you know what? She should marry him. And so he pops the question, even before they even really know each other. And she's like, well, you just say that because you want to bed me. He's like, yeah, sure. And so, of course, you know, that works because movie plot. And, uh, well, also because he's uh, super filthy rich. I think that might have something more to do with it, you know. <laughs> so she totally accepts the invitation and they have a passionate love. And then he really seriously pops the question, you know, marry me. And, well, she accepts and they get married. And it seems like, oh my goodness, Things are gonna go well. I mean, his 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 maid staff all look like the same. They got like blonde afros. It's really kind of strange uh, looking, <laughs> anyways. But uh, all of a sudden, the, the the new wife starts saying that she sees this uh, redhead um, around, and that's causing uh, the the man stress because oh no, what's happening? Am I getting is she, is she really coming back? I mean, I forbid er, certain areas of the, the grounds so that she can't find out about the evils of his past and the tragedy and all that stuff. But, you know, she seems to be hell-bent on investigating this Evelyn, this poor deceased wife. And as things go, she uh, becomes more and more 
around, and I'm talking about Evelyn coming more and more around, and not necessarily the new wife. The, the, the old wife seems to be showing up more and more and more and haunting the poor guy, driving him even more insane, and what happens during this is a series of strange murders. What's happening? Has Evelyn come out of the grave to get her revenge for him being so bold as to take another wife? Or is it something else, something other sinister going on on the castle grounds? Well, you'll have to find out by watching, but let's get to those scores, shall we? Violence and gore, it is another two and a half out of five, um, like, and most of this score is because of, toward the end, there is a really brutal, uh, stabbing situation going on, but for the most part, not a whole lot of blood, not a whole bunch of gore, uh, but there is, um, you know, enough violence and, and, and gore in there to give it that average score of two and a half out of five. I know this is like, what, three in a row? I gotta, I gotta get something more, more bloody, more meaty going on uh, after this. But anyways, two and a half out of five. Shock value, I'm gonna give it one out of five just for uh, a, a really effective jump scare and then a few creepy moments. But for the most part, Nothing too super shocking. One out of five. Plot? I am actually going to give this one a four out of five. Wow. It's because this plot is probably one of the best Diallo plots I've seen in a while. Um, because it really does make sense in the end. Uh, it, it's not too much of a stretch. Uh, character motivations and the way things go in this film it all makes sense except for the first part of the movie which i think the movie kind of just ignores and just sets it up to create like this creepy situation but yeah outside of the first thing that happens everything else makes pretty good pretty logical sense and uh, the, 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 the double and triple crossing going on in this movie is actually pretty well executed, and I really like it. And, um, yeah, so I'm giving it a solid four out of five for the plot. Who knows? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Anyways, moving on, acting, I'm going to give this a solid three out of five. I think the, 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 the husband uh, does a great job. The friend uh, does a great job. The wife, I think, does a wonderful job. Uh, some of the floozies, not so much. Uh, some of the other ancillary characters, yeah, kind of ridiculous. But still, I think solid for the most part. Three out of five. Moving on to annuity, and this is where I'm going to hold up my five fingers because it is not necessarily graphic, but it is just constantly throughout the movie. I mean, the beginning, uh, the first girl, she just like, you know, she's, she goes to, you know, he's, she's in her, in his room and he just, she just pff, rips off her clothes and then doesn't really do much of a job covering up afterwards. Uh, and that scene takes quite a bit of time. And then of course the, the, the other girl is also a, a burlesque stripper type dancer and she, uh, she doesn't cover up very well. And then of course the, the, the new wife and she literally seems like 80% of the movie she's got to have most of her breasts at least 50 or 45 percent of her of her of her boobs exposed at all times I mean she's just got just the cleave thing going throughout this movie and of course you know showing ample amounts of herself and uh yeah yeah it's <laughs> it's pretty just throughout and of course uh the husband having these these flashes this image of his wife Evelyn running naked through the forest uh, getting embraced by some random naked dude, too. So, yeah, it's it's completely all out there. Five out of five. So, moving on to enjoyment factor, and I am going to give this a solid four out of five. Yes, I would have loved to have a bit more gore, but I just, I loved how the movie flows. It's creepy. 
it's eerie. You're trying to piece it together, and when the when you get the final review, you're like, yes, that actually makes sense. I enjoy this. I agree. This is good. I like it. Plus, lots and lots of titties. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> what's not to like? It's giallo goodness. It's it's just it's it's goodness. It's like a fine wine. <laughs> So, yes, four out of five, and my overall impression of this movie is four out of five. Finally, a movie that, yes, has ridiculousness in the giallo uh, subgenre, but is controlled and somewhat smart and works on a lot of levels and gives you uh, enough uh, of almost everything that uh, it's very pleasing. Yes, I know, I would like a bit more blood and gore, but uh, there was some creativity in the kills, I might say. There was some, some creativity, and uh, a lot of, um, hmm, I would say, uh, suspicion going around. So I think it's nicely done, and I highly recommend this movie for anyone who likes yellow and anyone who just likes uh, horror in general. So. Four out of five. And that averages out to a wonderful 3.4 out of five. My goodness, that uh, that bonus points there really helps. But man, everything else in this movie is pretty good uh, to not just great. So yeah, it, it, it definitely uh, earns those points. So there you have it. The night Evelyn came out of the grave. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Have you seen it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? And I will say thank you once again for watching another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. And you internet, stay scary and remember... If you meet a girl and you propose marriage on the first night and she accepts and you are a rich, rich man, it's not love. It's not love. It can't be love. It cannot be love. It's not love. It's not. It's not love. Come on. You're all, you're, you're, you're just, I mean, I know you're using her and so I guess she's using you. So it's a mutual using and I guess. Marriage sort of is mutual using of each other, but still, it's not love. It's not love. I mean, it could be, but it's probably not. Anyway. Ah!